Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. A God who loves us, a God who not only created us, but has a plan for us, a God who walks beside us each step of the way. And so we give him great praise today. A word of encouragement comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 30, verse 9. It says, For the Lord your God is gracious and compassionate. He will not turn his face from you if you return to him. I don't know what that verse says to you, but what that verse says to me is God loves us so much that no matter what we've done, if we turn back to him, he will accept us. There's not a point in time in which God says, nope, too late, or hey, not enough. As long as we are on this earth, as long as we have the breath of life here, we always have the opportunity to come back to him. Now, I know that doesn't take away the consequences for our actions here on earth, but we do know the scripture tells us in Psalms 103 that as far as the east is from the west, so far does God remove our sins from us if we seek him. God is so full of grace, so full of compassion, that even though we separate ourselves from him through sin, God has made a way to restore us. God has made a bridge through the death of Jesus Christ uh, to bring us back to himself, to, to restore our walk with him. God loves you that much. Today, you may be feeling down about yourself. Maybe you've made some mistakes or, or, or dealing with some bad things. God is there. God simply says, doesn't matter. Don't worry about fixing it. Come back to me now and we'll fix it together. That's the kind of God we serve. God loves you today. If you already know God and you're serving God and you're walking with him, praise God. Praise him for his always being there. Praise him for the, the hope and the joy and the love that's in your heart. If you don't have those things today, simply ask God to provide them. God wants to give you the best that he has. I was joking with someone this morning. They, they have a grand new uh, grandbaby that they're, they've been traveling the last few weekends to see over in the eastern part of the state. Um, and I just shared that, you know, having grandchildren makes having children worthwhile. And of course, I was trying to be funny, but isn't it true that our family really does bring us joy? And even when our kids make mistakes or even when they, they do things that we don't like, we're always waiting for them to come home, to, to come back to us, to, 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 to make things right. That's our hope and desire, at least for the most part as parents. Folks, that's the type of God that we serve. A God who not only wants to be our God, but wants to be our father wants to be our family, wants to welcome us back into the kingdom as soon as we're ready. Today, I pray that you're ready. Uh, if you're not ready, I pray that you would just seek God out, uh, ask for forgiveness, and ask Jesus into your heart so you wouldn't be ready. If you are ready today, I pray that you would just pray for your own loved ones, that they would uh, open their hearts to God today, that they would see their need for him, that this whole pandemic we're de dealing with opens our eyes to all that God wants to do. Let's pray together today. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your great love. Thank you for your grace and compassion that no matter what we've done, you still love us. That your love isn't about our actions. Your love is about us being your creation. So Father, today we just pray for our hearts. Father, for those that already know you, would you bless them today? Would you make yourself known to them in a special way? Would you hold them close to your chest? Father, for those that have are away from you or, or don't know you, Father, would today be the day that they make things right, that they accept the love of Jesus Christ's death on the cross and his resurrection uh, into their life, and may they choose to serve you from this day forward. Father, we thank you that your grace and compassion are limitless, that it's not by human logic but by godly logic that you, that you come from. And so, Lord, use it today as you work with us, as you draw us near to yourself. Father, we just commit our loved ones to you today. We commit those who are hurting. We pray for those who are needing financial help, those who are needing physical help, those who are simply needing emotional or spiritual help. May you help each one in accordance with your great will. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God is full of compassion. Um, God is full of mercy. God is full of love for you because he loves you. I hope you'll grab onto that love today and, and rejoice in that love today. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.